Hey, Paul, check this toilet out. Come give it a flush and tell me what's wrong with it. All right. All right, Brian, I'll check out the toilet, but it... Tell me what's going on there, Frank. Julie, everything looks fine to me. Hmm. So what's the problem? Looks like the float's good. I guess there's something wrong with the valves. Is the uh, seal not working? Right. What's wrong? Oh, whoa! Oh! Ah! Brian, thanks a lot. <laughs> Welcome to the Handy Guys Podcast. Featuring answers to your questions and head-to-head -head tool challenges. Let's get started with the show with the Handy Guys themselves, Brian and Paul. So the problem here, Paul, obviously we have a bad fill valve. So we're going to go through a really simple replacement. It's going to require the most basic tools and we'll just uh, take it out. It won't take more than a few minutes, put a new one in and everything should be good, good to go. So step one, Paul, is to take the rest of the water out of the tank. I've already shut the water off. What I'm going to do now is, is flush it and hold the handle down until all the water goes out. But you notice there's some water left in there. So I'm going to use a towel and I'm going to soak that water up and uh, put it down. The Looks good. All right, so all the water is out. Most of it. I might get a few drops on the floor. Okay. The next step, I'm going to have to go get a wrench. I'm going to need a wrench to undo the nut that holds the fill valve on. So I'm going to go out in the garage and get that now. Okay, Paul, so now that the water's out, the first thing I'm going to do is take off the supply line nut. And you can just do that by hand? You can just do that by hand. Sometimes you might need to take a little wrench on it if it's there really tight, but it's got little wings on it, as you can see. You're going to have a little bit of water come out, but that's it. Above that is a nut that holds the old valve on. So I'm going to get a wrench on that nut. Lefty Lucy. Right, so that's just like a plastic nut that goes just over. Just a plastic nut. Right. You might want to have a towel down there underneath when you're doing this, but we'll clean that up later. And I'm holding the valve on the inside to keep it from flopping around as I'm taking the nut off. Okay, that's it, Paul. And we'll get the old one out of the package. What do we have here? What kinds of parts? Parts together. That goes on the top, yep. right? Okay, so I got all my parts apart here, Paul. And I've got to separate the two washers here. Always read the instructions. They didn't used to do that. Attach the cone washer and the shank washer. All right, Paul, I'm going to put the shank washer on to the bottom of the fill valve. Get my nut. Put that in place. So that shank washer goes on the inside of the tank, Paul. Right. And this one has little wings on the nut, so you don't need a wrench to tighten it. Oh, yeah. You can. Can't really over tighten it. Okay. That part's done. Now I'm going to attach the tube yep. here. And then there's a little doodad that holds the tube in place over the fill valve. Just like that. There you have it. Done. Now I just got to clean the water up off the floor. Hopefully that'll help you fix your toilet. Good luck with it. If you have any questions, you can contact the handy guys. <laughs>